What is up guys? This is Cole from Mac Kite Boarding and today we're going to be talking about the Axis HPS front wings. Let's get right into it. What is up guys? This is Cole from Mac Kite Boarding and today we're going to be covering Axis's all new HPS wing lineup. Today, we're using this Axis foil on a 3.6 Drifter K foil board made by KT Boards. Super small board, awesome for pumping, super lightweight, carbon stringers, this thing's super, super strong. One of our favorite boards in the demo room, which pairs great with this HPS front wing because the 1050, it's a pumping machine. So we need a board that we could pair that with. So for those of you who don't know, HPS stands for high performance speed. So these wings, are gonna be awesome for you know, winging, downwinders, but for high performance riders, you can sup with this thing, you can go surf foiling with it, or you can do wake foiling, which we're on the fishing boat today, but that's what we're gonna be doing. This wing comes in a couple different sizes. It comes in a 1050, a 980, a 930, an 880, and a 700. And now these wings range anywhere from a 7.55 aspect ratio to a 5.63 aspect ratio. So today behind the boat, we're testing out the 1050. So the 1050 is about a 1500 square centimeter front wing with an aspect ratio of 7.55. So this wing is gonna be awesome for pumping. In our case scenario here, we paired it with a 370 tail wing with a 75 centimeter mast. So this is our ideal pump setup here. You know, I usually ride somewhere between a 28 to 32 inch mast for pumping and the 75 centimeter mast is right in that sweet spot. So one thing to know about the HPS front wing is it is high aspect, 7.55 for that, the biggest size out of this wing lineup. It doesn't like to turn side to side very well. It doesn't like this motion so much. It really likes you to point the hip and go where you wanna go. We call that kind of a skatey front wing. But in our case, that's exactly what we want. Because the leading edge of this thing is so flat, almost the entire wing span is used for pumping. It's gonna generate straight up lift rather than curved wing tips, which are gonna generate lift to the sides. Well, those wings, which usually are low aspect wings, are great for turning and more of that surfy style feel. The HPS wings are definitely not that. However, one thing I noticed while riding this thing is you still had a great edge to edge performance. Something I haven't seen in too many high aspect wings. I'd say it rides pretty similar to the GoFoil NL190, but then again, this wing is in a league of its own, has a fantastic speed range, and really gets the job done for pumping. So we'll try to keep this video short, but this wing is probably one of my favorites for behind the boat. So if you guys want a written version of this video, click the eye icon in the top right corner of your screen for a written blog that's gonna be much more organized than I am in this video here. Now the HPS wings are, are new to the Axis lineup this year. They had the PNG and the BSC series. The PNG stands for Pump and Glide, and in the name, it pumps super well. It's a high aspect wing. Well, the BSC series is the Broad Spectrum Carve series by Axis. It's a lower aspect wing, great for surfing. It has that awesome edge to edge feel on it. Loves to carve back and forth. One of my favorite wings to go prone foiling with, a prone surf, foil surfing, whatever you want to call it, where the PNG series is more skatey. It loved this movement here, kind of that side to side motion because the wingtips are so long, it really prevents the foil from going side to side there. With that being said, I'd say this HPS foil is somewhere in between. I think Axis did a great job filling that void between their high aspect foils and their kind of lower aspect surf foils. Now, as far as the HPS, the high performance speed wings go, they come in five different sizes. Now the names are kind of confusing because it's actually the wingspan of the wing rather than the surface area. So the biggest size, which we just tested, was the 1050. It also comes in a 980, a 930, an 880, and a 700. Now, these wings are pretty interesting because they actually range quite a bit from the largest size to the smallest size. So the 1050 is a 1500 square centimeter front wing with a 7.34 aspect ratio. So again, any really anything over that six and a half to seven 
aspect ratio is something that's gonna be good for pumping. Something I would personally take out behind the boat to drop back a bunch of rollers or do a dock starts or something along those lines. So again, that 1050 is considered a high aspect wing. Now, if we look at the smallest size, the 700, it's only an 890 front wing, 890 square centimeters, pretty small front wing. You know, this thing would be awesome for bigger swell. It'd be great for high, even high speed winging for smaller riders. You could use it with the kite and the aspect ratio is only 5.51. So a 5.51 aspect ratio, that's a super low aspect wing. So it's pretty interesting to see Axis and how they really made a large jump from their biggest wing to their smallest wing for the HPS lineup. These wings are super fast. They have an awesome speed range and they're pretty usable for any type of rider. Ideally, you'd use it for winging or downwinders, but for your, the high level riders out there, you could use it for, for supping, for prone foil surfing, for wake. You can even use it for windsurfing if you're really getting after it and, and you need that high speed carving foil, this could be the one for you. Because like I said, the HPS has a great speed range. So let's talk a couple of the technical aspects of the front wing. So we already covered aspect ratio on the surface area and everything along those lines. But something to note is the connection. So Axis Foils has a four bolt connection to that front wing. What's also important to know is that the HPS front wings are only compatible with a black fuselage. So here's the connection from this side. Here you go. Black series fuselage. Not all Axis wings are compatible. They have two different fuselages, the B series and the S series. For the sake of keeping this video shorter, I won't go into the compatibility of each fuselage. We'll make another video for that. But the HPS wing is only compatible with the black fuselage. What's cool about this wing is it does come with the cover like all Axis wings do. It is just a front wing cover. What's cool about it is it has dual zippers and a little tag on there which will let you know what front wing you have, especially if you're constantly swapping them out on the boat. So as far as the foil session we just had, this wing was phenomenal. I couldn't believe how well it pumped, super efficient. I did pair it with a short fuselage and a 370 tail wing, which ideally I'd have a perfectly flat stabilizer along with a slightly shorter fuselage, but even with a little bit longer fuselage and a not so efficient stabilizer, this thing was so easy to pump. Pumping to a minute was quite easy. Anything longer and I was working a little bit, but it was really easy to get out there and pump this thing. One of my buddies was riding and he really hasn't had success pumping all that much. And he was pumping this thing all over the place and I'll include a clip so you guys can see him pumping. And again, you won't believe it, but that was actually his first time pumping. I would say anyone looking to improve their wake performance behind the boat, you know, pump back more than two or three rollers. This thing is really gonna unlock the door for you guys, getting back to that sixth, seventh, eighth roller. Last night I was on an 18 foot fishing boat and I was able to get back to the fourth and fifth roller. Again, I'm, I'm a pretty good rider, but I'm sure you guys can do it too. This is the wing that's gonna really push you to that next level. This is gear that's not gonna hold you back when it comes to pumping. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and you know what? If you wanna give us some feedback, maybe your own personal experiences with the wing, feel free to put that in the comment section below. And I'll also include a link in the description for a product guide for Axis Foils so you can see what wings are compatible with which fuselages and just to see what Axis products are good for different disciplines. Thank you guys for watching and we hope you learned a little something. Until next time, this has been Cole from Mac Kiteboarding. Boarding.